Yeah, hello, good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to Space Engineers episode 16. And so I'm going to take a few minutes just to wait a bit until maybe my, you know, my, my, my <laughs> fellow Discordians have turned up that sort of thing and talk about the last three episodes quickly. Because there's been a bit of feedback, you know, mainly through Discord, and there's been a comment from one of my Discord members as well, Buckley. Um, and so, there's a few things that we, we, we really want to change on the base. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're not really well established, you know, we're far away from resources and all that sort of thing. The rover itself, well, we, we all know the rover is a shambles. <coughs> And so Buckley's actually took it upon him, and I really greatly appreciate this, by the way, uh, has took it upon him to just sort of get a few basic designs into my head, you know, on Discord, just show me a few screenshots on maybe how to get a rover started better than what I did. Because, you know, ideally we, we don't really want a solid base that we can just get stuck in all the time, and you know, all that stuff. Anyways, um, the game is loaded up. I have made a few changes in terms of mods and so I have gone in between episodes I have disabled Izzy's inventory management script um, so that programmable block is at the moment off. Um, we will also do away with the driver assist script um, and I'll get back to that in a bit and we will basically there's a new mod that I've added it's basically the what's called the production quota list I think or production quota mod uh, it's a quality of life improvement and it's not so much a script but it's a it's a thing you set up on assemblers right um, and so talking of assemblers um, you know let's maybe start there um, and no actually while we're out here let's address another comment uh, I had from discord and this is something I may have missed, so let's have a look at that. So, we have those batteries on charge and they are sitting at 83%. Now the question is, with them being off, let's have a look. Um, minor batteries, alright. There's a small battery, so oh, they're all on. So the, the question really was uh, if you turn them off, do they charge? But you know, at the moment they're turned on and they're fully charged in about three minutes, so that's fine. You just see, so I need to make sure when you turn off things that uh, you know you actually get a charge still. Um, anyways, let's go back <clears throat> to what I was talking about in the in terms of inventory management. I've left the monitors up just now um, because I'm not entirely sure how many I will need for the next part. So I have added a script. It's um, you know all all this comes from the workshop from the Steam workshop. Um, but what we're going to do is first of all, <clears throat> if we remember, I have a basic assembler that I couldn't find. Let's start maybe with that, right? And all we need to do is find any console, and then we're going to go and just search for that basic assembler and say show on HUD, okay? But we need to have an active container for, antenna for that connected, okay? Now, we did ask ourselves, since this guy's got an antenna, um, would that be enough? So let's turn that antenna on, right? And just check, is that enough for show on HUD for us to work? Because all we need to do is go in here again and we go and search for that basic assembler because I hadn't enabled it yet. Um, we can see. First bit. Alright, so this is actually a me thing. Um, I have not got an exit there yet, so uh, and I've closed this off, which is actually it's nice. I, I like it. I just need to get used to that um, but so the basic assembler is actually in here okay and yeah I may need to redesign this to actually just use a normal assembler but again it, since they are connected yeah so that's gonna be needing to get redesigned this blueprint I'm gonna remake and we're going to replace our basic assembler with a normal assembler, possibly. Although, let's 
So ideally, this is not quite done. I would want a drill on here. I would want this to be able to respawn anywhere and, and just, yeah. Um, okay. Let's not worry about that so much. What we're going to do is we're going to tell that basic assembler to just basically be a slave. Right. Now that we've basically not got Izzy's inventory management, we need to actually tell our assemblers how to behave. So let's go and sit down for a second here and we'll go and look at all the assemblers that we have right and we're going to tell this assembler you're going to be a not cooperative right that's very important and then any other assembler we're going to just say hey you're going to now be cooperative okay and then basically what happens is this assembler now should have a quota list right this is now a list that we can um change and we can say okay this is how many we want um and so the Gatling ammo boxes, let's set an amount for them and we have got three, four, um, I would always, there to be five available, so 20. Okay, set. Missiles, no. Superconductors, uh, let's just say 10 for now. Okay, um, and then you can see we can pause this. Right, as this is a great thing where you okay, well, we're not really good on resources. We can say okay, pause this thing, um, this whole production, and then it's not gonna try and fill, fulfill those quarters. Right, but let's keep going. Now, I think it's an assault cannon I've got on top, but I can't remember. So let's have a look. Let's. Um, it's probably quicker for me, like to be honest, rather than. That whole list, we're just gonna go and jump up, get a welder out, and point out. It's a assault cannon turret, and then it uses assault cannon shells. Right, boom, done. That's all I wanted. Uh, yeah, boom, boom. So, assault cannon shells. Uh, let's, I don't know. They're always sort of sharp and pairs. Um, there's our assembler, and then we're gonna call this master. Just so I sort of know. Um, that, I know this is not politically correct, so um, I, I I don't know the correct answer here. It's um, yeah, we're gonna call this master silver, and we're gonna call the other one the co-op. Or yeah, 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 that'll do me. Right, and because this is a basic one, we're gonna just leave it as such. Um, but okay, cool. Now back to here, and we were working on. So, someone explain to me. Okay, why that was so far done. Okay, oxygen bo bottles. In general, I want sort of three on hand. Oh. You just push the set button. Uh, construction components. Is, I feel it's like one of those we always need quite a lot of. Uh, Gerda, I don't know. 20 maybe? Metal grids, um, say 50, I really don't know, we're just gonna sort of guesstimate some amounts, right, um, but realistically, there's another step we can do here, <clears throat> and then we're gonna do that right now, because we would like maybe some overview, we're gonna talk to this programmable block, and we're gonna tell it, um, to, we're gonna use a different script, okay? Browse scripts. And inventory content display script. Yeah. Uh, you only need to read this user user script. Build some LCD panels, set the display mode of the panels to text, name the panels, RES, and then hash and then some index. So zero, one, and so forth. Okay. Um Names, display block inventories, display block auction, battery style. There's, there's a few things we can do here. Um, but yeah, I like this. Let's let's go and copy this whole thing. Um, you can modify stuff here, and it's this I would like to change my resource panels. Oh, well, okay, that's fine. 
Okay, so this is okay. This is how it works. It's it's three letter um, prefixes basically that you attach before the monitor type. Okay, or number actually, and then the string for it. Okay, that's that's all fine. Don't need to worry about any of this realistically. Now that we know, okay, R S something something something. Boom. Let's go. Okay, this LCD panel uh, R E S hash zero, and then that's our first. One, okay, and then we're going to do the same with this. This is one. And then let him be LCD panel uh, two, right? Uh, RES two. Is it? I think it's RES, not all uppercase. I, I think it's actually like so. Right? I think so. Let's make sure we do that right because knowing C sharp it is actually very um, case in case sensitive. So you need to make sure when you do these things, unless it's programmed that way to ignore this casing. But I, I assume it's not. So, okay, let's toggle it on. Let's see what happens. <coughs> okay, I would imagine fairly soon. Maybe no, no panels found. Okay, so maybe I forgot something. Uh, oh, content. Okay, this is a yeah, text. That's no. What am I doing wrong? Mean no panels found because I, I don't think that's correct. Edit. Um, RES. Resource panels. Right. I mean, so let, let's look at the script description again quickly. Right, okay, 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 you, you can't have anything in front of that, I think. Like, I feel that is what they're telling me. So, like, we, the, the name, we have to be literally this. Ah, there you go. Uh, yeah, 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 that's fine. I'm, I'm gonna help you there, don't worry. I'm gonna give you more panels. Right. I'll do the same here, I just would like the ability to know okay, space. Right, bum, bum, bum. Um, okay, ingots, uh, superconductor. So we could probably do a thing where we could say, um, seem to be quite a few components, but so what if we said, and then we're just playing here, right? That's the first screen for components. And then we'll make this the first screen for ingots. And then remember, because it's programming, the, the index actually starts at zero. Um, ing, right? And then, how do you say the rest? Like, that's not the question. Like, I'm sure there's this thing. Um, say, Ed. No, no, just, uh, no, no I'm, I'm right there. I just wanted to see that description again. Uh, huh? The auto panel or displaying one category only prefix or for or. Um, the second, like the one that wants that puts information you want to display and enjoy. Uh, or search in the public type for valid identification name. You can set the name to a public title. Ah, okay, so you could do that if you want to use the public title instead of the name. and goods components I suppose I could just do ores in that one right um, and then not worry about ammo like I think that would make sense for me 
so it's over zero right uh, basically oh my goodness is that really all we have okay yeah, and or that makes sense that's saying it we have but yeah i like this actually and then we see what components we have Whoa, yes hey 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 buckley good evening um let me actually go and change something here because i couldn't see that chat window there over uh yeah sorry buckley there's a whole bunch of stuff and i missed in tarsus as well hello guys um since my incident yesterday a few things have changed on my screens guys so <laughs> sorry guys I, i'm still here and i figured it out um yeah after the text size of it uh, altered it. well actually as i say i'm actually happy with this um do another screen here for ammo like i think that would be cool. but the next thing i would like to do because um again because of buckley he's he's shown me an awesome thing he's found a really good color to work with and so i will go and change the screens to represent with that color it just reads so much better 40 and no 150 i think that's yeah i think this is correct um and it looks good there like, I like it there, but uh, did we not have a transparent screen? Um, I, I would like to try it out on a transparent screen because we were talking about that on chat. So here's the thing, and I, I like the transparent screen. I, I really, really do. But it's really difficult in terms of readability. So let's go and... I want one of those. Give me those components, please. Um, yeah, like so. Weld it up because it's this color really that we wanted to really see how that turns out. So, um, excuse me. All right, okay, so we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna call this AMM0. Uh, right. Someone please explain to me. Right, something's getting ground here. I don't Okay, cool. I'll do that in a second, Buckley. Something was ground, I don't know if it was my grinding pit that still found something, I don't know. Uh, so Buckley has actually suggested to change this color slightly um, because of the dark screen, the blue component, to C90, okay? Okay, um, but I'm also curious, so you now have still okay so what if we set this right yes okay you actually have to set it on that and then r0 green 40 and oh, 150 now i am sorry to say buckley but that, did that look the same on the screenshot i mean this looks good on here i can read it but it looks entirely different right okay so yeah i'll do that on 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 the on actually mesa dates right let's let's go and see what kind of font size we can go with there because yeah on stream you would want to read it too i'm sorry about that so let's try 1.2 okay I'm trying to sort of find a good. No, not you. You. Because ideally, I would like to be all the same. That's... Okay, so we've not changed on there, but this seems really awfully dark. So let's go and change that text size in here. Uh, whoa. 1.2, please. And I've got to do the same for all of them. I quite like that size. Oh. 
two, two. And then now, because we've done this, there's a thing we... Oh, okay. We are going to have to... Let me try... Let me try something here. Let me try... 1.1 for a second. Yeah. We can do another thing. We can... We can... There is this which we can maybe say oh, one right that's sort of the padding around the text yeah i think i can work with that okay so let's say 1.1 then like that that seems to be like still bigger enough i think uh, but so uh, the reason i want these all to be the same is because the script that does the inventory uh, content ma management or display uh, actually relies on us Put this number right so we need to actually go now in here and edit the script and tell it that we have changed that default font size to 1.1 f right? f stands for float it's a floating number meaning it is not just a single digit one two three four it's a one point or two point something or zero point it's you know it's a real number i suppose um okay and we would probably want to recompile Right. Um, I'm really surprised on how different those colors look. But, uh, I don't know if it's a lighting thing or if it's something I've. Is it something that a transparent panel has that I've not seen yet? Um, no, there's nothing I can see that really. won't give me anything with hashtag in it, right? Can we do... I, I would like to do a thing where I say um, all the text paddings to 1%, all the font size to 1%, just to sort of set this quickly, and then say 0, 40, and say 90 for now. Yeah, and that is absolutely not readable there, so that one we need to change to that 150 value because it's a transparent screen and yeah actually I actually like this and like for me it's readable and then especially when we read green blindness it, this actually works quite well it's maybe not as bright as that green that we had before I'm not entirely sure with a transparent screen there but that's just because there's a block behind it. it's you know but we're gonna leave it I can, I can go up and uh, but we have got okay cobalt gold uh, um, iron is fine magnesium 19 tons, 2.5 tons, or 2.7 tons of nickel, and 26 tons of silicon. So yeah, we're good there. Nice. Um, I so let's. I'm, I'm just gonna quickly. No, yeah, just let us quickly go through the rest of what was said about the yeah my last couple of stream, streams. So Buckley had mentioned to me I would I, I may want to get rid of this guy, right? The, the driver assist. Um, and it's purely because the fact is I have you know barely any experience. Let's face it, yes, I'm at 50 plus hours now, but you know, it's still nothing. It, it in this game no. And it really ruins the whole learning experience. You, you don't understand how some of the things work, you know, and so it actually behooves me for now. To actually take that completely away just don't bother about it and we're actually gonna try playing with the wheels themselves all right um now i am almost tempted to start copying a design that buckley has shown me um because you know the, the, the big struggle has been for me and i would like to show actually the the, the difference of here right? so this is something i've built without any real input from anyone on how to build and it's just something I'd sort of started and yeah it flies but it's chunky right and then Buckley has basically took a few minutes or probably a bit more than a few minutes but you know it's shown me okay this is maybe how to start you know in terms of where to put the landing the, the, the landing gear and sort of ba build your base from there and then I've, I've done this thing for myself but you know it's actually a lot less clunky because I've literally just put the basic components that I wanted on it um, 
why I've designed it this particular way, I don't, I don't really know, but it sort of just came together that way, and I was like, oh, it, it, it sort of works, you know. Um, but as I say, it's, you know, I've, I've learned something through that, and I think I would like to try. Um, I mean, we have a miner now, so if we do need materials, it's not a problem. I, would, I think I would like to try and redesign the rover. But for that, I would also like to build this area out a little bit more. Like, I, had, I talked about this where I want this to be maybe an extra garage. So, or a garage. Like, I... Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm German, I don't know how to pronounce things. <laughs> so, um, I feel like we could probably get away with placing a few blocks to sort of build something that could, you know, we, we could have at least have a roof over our head and not have the rain pour on us while we're building. I think, you know, we, we're in a position to do that, but we would really need to look at our component lists and that stuff. So I would like to make sure that, for example, steel plate is, is one of those meme things, right? Now, any any control panel will do. We'll open it, grab our master assembler, and I've actually decided to name this main now. Right. I'm trying to be really politically correct and I understand that people are upset when you use that master-slave relationship but you know it's been this, been around in computing for forever really so I find it hard to sort of get rid of it in, in my own thinking but maybe this will work for you guys hopefully anyways now lists uh, steel plate I would like I don't know if 10,000 is a good number, but it sounds like a good number. We've got seven, let's inch up, let's say eight for now. Right, and then I'm hoping that we should now see if I go and check this guy and check into my production. Okay. It's done nothing of the sort. Has it? Do we? Uh, steel plate now. Really, like I, I feel like I've done everything right. So let's go and look again. All the assemblers we have. Main assembler. That's not to set to cooperative, right? And that we set these quotas for. Did I pause it? Yes, I did. There we go. And now I should see. Uh, no, wrong button. Uh, production. Yeah, there we go. There's the missing steel plate being made. Right. Awesome. Um, and it's probably not as heavy on the footprint in the world as well, because it's not a script that runs continuously and, and takes up cycles, as it were. So you know, all in, probably a lot better to do it this way. Steel plate, solar cells. I think I would like to have like 200 solar cells always on hand. Um, yes, Buckley it was. <laughs> so, and guys, I don't know why there's still such a big delay because this is actually a low latency stream. Um, I will try next time to actually make an ultra low latency so that the chat responses and, you know, time between video and chat responses comes in quicker. Because um, that was quite long, actually. Anyways, let's... What was I? Ah, yeah. Uh, assemblers. Um, see, I wish it would show, show me when, when I click on it how many I've got. Like, that would be awesome. Like, uh, does that make sense? And maybe we could do a bit of a sort of swindle, do this way. Like, look at it and then I can. I can't see that. Maybe come a bit over. Yeah, start with a bulletproof glass. Uh, yeah, like like so. No, not what I wanted. Control panel, assemble our main, and just try and go through it. So anything that's actually set got a quota set is at the top. That I like that already. Um, so large steel tubes, two hundred eighty-five. We're gonna set that to three hundred. Seems like a good number. I know that's too small. Uh, don't know how many. So let's look. 134. Well, okay. Fine. 
that seems fine then. Uh, control panel assembler. And this is the sort of one time process because after that you just have to sort of nurse it to increase the numbers. You know, it's just the first time setup is a little bit. I don't even want to say annoying, but you know, it can be daunting to look at. But actually, when you when you do something like this, where you can maybe look at it on screen that you've set up somewhere, then it's actually not all that bad. So set that motors. We have a hundred of. I like that launch. We're gonna set that as our target. This place we've got fifty four. Well, let's go and say a hundred, just because bulletproof glass. We have got one five eight. Let's set that to two hundred. Uh, computers, uh, 240, well, I'm gonna just sort of round that up, as it were. Reactor components don't care, thruster components, okay, we don't seem to have any, so wait a second with that. Gravity components, I'm not even gonna worry about that, this is for, um, artificial mass. Um, and I'm not gonna mess up with that, because, truth is, I don't quite understand it yet, so let's worry about that when I actually try and use it in a zero-g environment because I think it's the sort of thing that actually provides gravity on something like a ship or on a, on a mobile grid I suppose that is in a zero-g environment like I, I think uh, medical components well no point setting it we don't have the silver radio communication components how do we look there oh, you, don't, you don't show me the number so let's 24 okay control panel assembler main just um, what did I say? Uh, I forgot the number. 24. I, I do apologize. I'm, I'm still trying to get back into the swing here. Um, 24, say, gotcha. Uh, detector components, can we see that? Oh, we have none set up. Let's set up, say, 10. Just to have some on hand. This wasn't set because I didn't push the button. Right. Um, canvas. Oh, this is for parachutes. Uh, don't know yet. Explosives. No, don't worry about that. Solar cells. Uh, okay, so we're going to need another one. That's just. Right. I, I'm, I'm just going to have to settle for that. Do we have normal displays on hand or do we maybe want to yeah you know what I'm gonna try no quick bar that one yeah go and finish that off for me please okay cool and this is i think it was components is this component one yeah that's component well zero i know and this will be comp one then let's try and see how that value looks now. Oh, need to do this thing and uh, 1.1 and then R0 40 and then we know this does need to be higher, the higher value. 1% um, uh, yeah, background so, and yeah, that works for me. Yeah, that works for me. And then I can just do the rest. And we can now have more components on hand in that list. Uh, let's go back to the assembly and just, I uh, just want to set up the initial quarters. Uh, and of course, I didn't look. So, solar 118. We'll say, what are you grinding there? You need to, to click the things, Sebastian. You know, uh, power cells. How many do we have on hand? Um, Fifty. That seems fine. So I'll, I'll, I like that number. Control panel assembler. Sorry about all the jumping back and forth here. Set. Oh, these are blueprints. Oh, wow. Okay. No, they're not blueprints. What, what are they? 
Ara Spine Tarsus. Um, these look like guns, um, and I think I'm just gonna worry about them like individually if I need them. Uh, well, the enhanced. Nah, I don't need any of this really on hand because I just make it when I need it. Magazines. Magazines, yes. Gatling ammo boxes, superconductors. Now we've got quite a few more of them, so we know we can set this to say 120. Right? We've got 111 of them sitting like right there, so that's fine. Um, then assault cannon shells, I would like to have, what did I say, maybe 20? Um, large railgun sabot, uh, small railgun sabot, uh, auto cannon magazine. Auto cannon. We don't have an auto cannon. I think it's a Gatling that we have. And I think we've set that. I feel like I've set Gatling ammo. Maybe I haven't. Oxygen, hydrogen. Uh, let me just go through it. Bulletproof glass. No. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, there it is. Gatling ammo box is 20 and this is probably something that wants to be up to soon. Um, depending on how much cert we have. Uh, and this is fine, assault cannon shells. We have... Like, I would like to understand... See, there's, there's this disconnect, I feel, between the names here and the names that have been used. Um, so Buckley confirms that the blueprints I was looking at, they're not actually blueprints, they are guns, yeah, to just make if you need it more than... Eh, not gonna worry. I feel like we have sort of a production in place, like if, if I feel we've, we've maybe missed something, I can just add it. Um, was our iron 60 tons, cobalt about 8 tons nearly. I would really just like to find at some point but not now okay so let's maybe try and do the garage build or the garage or whatever you know the the, the maintenance hall gotta call it uh blocks just normal no not heavy oh good grief no i'm gonna have concrete around it that'd be a bit that's for the future builds like for the future base they're gonna have what do you use that and then i think i'm just gonna want to like come up like so makes sense just come along a bit um some sort of gating through here somewhere and I'm just gonna let build repair help me out here bam 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 and then I think what I'm gonna do is I don't know why, I just felt like... Actually, stop, stop, stop. I don't know. I've got to fight Bilbrick and I'm just saying... Eh. I'm just going to try and put this together. <laughs> right. Um, I think I'm just going to put slopes up there, maybe? Let me try... Uh, it's this guy. Um, yeah, like so, maybe? I really struggle with these sort of constructions sometimes because, like, I, I, I find it hard to visualize. I think I've not got a very creative mind, if you want. Then just bring it along, uh, like so. Bring me no blocks, and I'm just gonna bring this out here. Nope, can't. Because watch. Um, bam. gonna have to attach a block in, in a weird way slightly uh, no, I can't even do that can I? <laughs> okay uh, yeah this is going to be interesting I'm 
may need to build on another roof here so I've, like so what if yeah i've got this contact so attach here come out bring it along. just i'm just playing this let me So, well, I would want to do, of course. Uh, where's my chat freaking out again? No, not you guys, I mean, like, my actual chat window is a bit unreliable at the moment, so it keeps popping in and out of existence on my OBS. Um, I, I would like to, you know, do another gate like this. And I would like to see it one, two, three, four, five, six wide. That's what we did there. Let's get rid of this one see how we get along with that so it's like uh, it might might i don't know let's let's try um we need to find the block now um once i see it it's yeah there it is it's different ones Ooh. Ooh. there's war for hanger doors here at the oh gates i like that but uh, I like the idea of a windowed one, maybe. You can turn it around, like so, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm liking this already. Um, just put me one against there, please. Oh, there's nothing as double jump. Use your jetpack. That's what it's there for. And I'm just gonna bring us along so I have a base to go against. And just close it off here. Yes. Okay. And then last but not least, need to find that quick bargain. Go back here. Turn it around and just bring it along like so. And we're going to do a, a thing possibly with sensors again. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to on the button. Just button there, button there, sort of thing. Um, so let me see if I can find my button panel. I know I have it somewhere. No, not you. Yeah, you. Just one. Just. Oh. Two. I'll do me, and then we'll probably need to do a bit of voxel shaping here just to get all those blocks placed. I, f I feel like I would, would probably go and do just, just a slight divot as it were. It's actually already too much, but it's fine. Um, Just want to be able to place all the blocks in this sort of area. I'd like to be in like, as I say, a, a sort of maintenance bay, if you will. Oh, lights would be helpful. Um, so let's see. enough and I'm just gonna sort of take random bits away just so we can hopefully get the blocks all put down. So essentially I just need the grass layer gone and I don't think way too much away there but it's eh. And then see how that works out. And uh, nice these blocks for now just
Yeah, I like this. This is already... Helps if you align the block correctly. Uh -huh. Should be able to just close this off here. I need to... Yeah, I would like this connected somehow, though this, this seems a bit... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's that one. Place it there. Uh, like so. Yeah, 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 I like it. I mean, look, at the moment it looks like this, but uh, it'll look nice, I hope. We'll, we will need to do an iron run. Don't worry, Tarsus. <laughs> Like saying to me that we need more iron because it's 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 my typical. Oh, what am I, why, why am I not producing this thing? What was what's missing? It's always iron. I think that's it, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I would like to. Is this a control panel I can access? Like, a, yes. Uh, now there's a. Warfare hangar door window. That's this this whole block. All this. Right, let, let's build my hair. Finish this off. Uh, but this is gonna be outer hangar door, or just outer hangar. Just save, right? And that should actually uh, actually already be enough. Okay. For now. Um, Yeah, this this is nice, and then I'm probably gonna take the walls out just up to this level here. Gives me that sort of extra space, and then would like to plant a door through here. Um, and I feel back there is a bit too far away from that entrance. So let me see here. What what can we do? Um, Today is a bad day, I have a proper case of future blindness, I can tell you this right now, before anyone asks, uh, yes, it's... Also, I need, um... Is it just a one white space you need for that? I don't know. We're gonna just take it a bit, yeah. Right, and then there's our other sort of tunnel, if you will. No, is, there, is there a block down there or not? Feel like there's not. See, it's actually that's this whole thing where I didn't get the blocks in there. Okay, cool. Maybe I can do that now. There's one there, one there, one there. I'm actually thinking it's of having this as a sort of tunnel. Um, probably just. Um, so yeah, just bring that down like so, and make the door right there too. Where's that? Um, now I would like to see what other doors we have with that. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, it's a two white block. If, if I was to place it correctly, I think it would look something like this. And then it would just slide to the side, obviously, right? But no, no, not really. And I've got the same as a sort of sliding hatch. Um, so either half or full. Um, there's an offset door. I think I'll actually like this offset door idea, and then do the same here, but... Oh, come on. But basically this way. Right. Okay. Okay.
didn't want to, but I had to. Because I believe... That's fine. That's fine. Um, no, I want... Are you kidding me right now? Come on. Are you not letting me... Let's try this sneaky thing. Yeah. One there, one there. I just sort of eh. it's ugly as in I know I know I could then go through here get this one done get this one done you can see a lot of this is just welding there. this door and go into our base or we can come from the outside you know it's it's yes indeed um okay what are you lacking in that now comes the tarsus moment i'm not sure uh, maybe not construction components i'm sure it's an iron thing ah. watch this making things but so steel plate low <laughs> um, and I don't think we've put any construction components into I, I feel we've not done that at all right let's control panel assembler main There's the construction components there, definitely being put into production. So, uh, I forgot you can actually interrogate build repair. Build and repair if we go and. There is a construction components thing. Yeah. But now is a question. If we look into our production right now, we should see. Okay. So the main assembler is doing something. And the co op assembler is getting jobs. And that basic assembler is not doing anything, which is probably correct. And also, oh, it, it, it's doing that hideous thing again. I, I hate it when it does this, like, just put all the components in it into a singular, come on. This is hideous. Okay, too late for that. Um, put them together, put those motors on there, just try and uh, get, like, jobs together. Fairly certain that I'm gonna be short on something soon. Like, why do I feel you're not doing anything? Oh no, you do. You are. You are pulling plenty of steel plate. What I liked about it is his inventory management. It was actually pulling components into you know certain containers. You know, there's that whole sort of convenience, but it's fine. Okay, let's see what's actually going on here. Stuff. Oh, he's still not satisfied. Go on, just give me this stuff and we're just gonna go on. Big door. Just let me through. Yeah, well. You are kidding. You, you have got to be absolutely kidding. 
it's actually not. Uh, okay, yeah, it's so apparently there's a lot of jobs that have been queued up and it's just sort of working through them. We're just gonna have to let it do this, the thing, I think. Um, and yeah, okay, it's fine. It's fine. This is unreal, like, come on. So, okay, that's that's good to know. Also, oh, good grief. Um, I need to find my... I don't know if... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of hydrogen in the tank. That's good. Ow. But this is this is really quite bugging me. Like build and repair doesn't like or not build and repair. I, I don't quite understand actually why this weird queuing is going on. Like I don't. It is probably just due to the fact that we're lacking the. the quota for it. It's trying to fulfill that quota first. Um, and I suppose that is actually the correct behaviour here. Because if you think about it, <coughs> you know, built and repair just uses whatever is in stock. Um, and then obviously the, the, the quota production quarter is actually going to see, okay, there's all this missing, you know, there's these differences between what I should have and what I do have, and instead of putting that stuff into production. Well, I think repair may or may not put things into production. I, I don't think it should, but it may. You know, let's have a look here. I grind if weld gets stuck. Use ignore color. No, I have bothers. Built new. As grinding settings as a janitor. Collecting. No, but I don't see anything actually that. Because they're not controlled by a script as such. So it's a little bit weird how that inventory management just didn't quite want to do the thing. I, I think this should be it. Like, I think they're not all complete. So, and I'm just gonna do the groups. Uh, so, where art thou? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, uh, that. But uh, it's a toggle all closed. But, but the same here. Yep. Okay. Oops. So this guy right in there. Tog no, not. It's open closed. Right. And then just try it out. Well, I like these. They look nice. Oh, look at that. That is so awesome. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. That is absolutely the thing that needed to happen. Well, cool. um, now let's have a quick. I'm just nosy. I'm just really curious. So, we're over eight thousand steel plate. What does the production queue say? It is okay. Cool. Nice. So, I should be able to just. I up a whole bunch of uh, steel plate constructions. Do we have T on? No, we don't. That's fine. Uh, oh, it's the wrong block, so that would have helped. I forget the six version. There, there, there. Just like so. Why not? Oh, yeah, because you put everything away. What construction components? 
Oh, because that's still in there, right. Oh, actually, that, that, that was really gubbed up, so just put everything back. Is there anything in the build planet? No. So just... So... One, two, three, and then this block, I suppose, and then just back to that slope, just turn it around one. Now, I don't know if that's going to work. I hope it will. Like, that would be awesome. Although, I have a feeling that the hangar gate may just get stuck on that. We'll see. Either we'll get a visitation of Clang or we won't. Simple as that. Um, right, bum, 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 dun, dun, dun. Um, so I suppose we can try it out right now. This looks actually alright. Like, yeah, this this looks like it could do the job, right? Yes, indeed. Nice. Cool. Um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna want to be in here. I, I don't know what's going on here. I really don't feel like I understand. Light ammo, light ammo. I, I don't know why these are not welding together. This, this makes no sense to me. Just gonna try something, just out of curiosity. Like they should just no, not like so, not like this, not like this. Uh, there we go. Yeah, one of them. Just go and put that in there. Huh? This is also just a normal light armor block. There's nothing different about this one than that one. Right? I don't understand. This I understand because there's obviously no block there, but I might have to just grind them all off and do it again at some point. But yeah, same here. What the? F Go try it. Just. What the actual heck is going on here? I want to place a block, I'm going to put it down, I'm going to weld it up. And not. It's literally treating those as two different pieces. And there's no reason it should. What if we... I don't know what you mean, combat face. No, 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 no. There's no combat around me. Uh, okay, four. Well, they're fairly far away. Yeah, no, nothing I can see here, so we should be fine. Don't scare me like that, game. Um, and obviously, this will need closed off and all that. But, anyways, robot design. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to build inside. It just sort of occurred to me uh, that may actually be not the smartest idea. And the reason I'm saying that is because we don't really know the size of what we're building. Like it, it may just be really not a good idea to do that. So let's try and extend the base a little bit out. I think. Like so, and then I think I'm going to take something along. Just sort of stay outside here and make this the very front of it, as it might, if that makes sense. All right, so, and I'm going to try and summarize sort of the teachings of uh, Buckley, right? Well, not the, the teachings as such, but you know, the, the things he showed me. Um, 
yeah maybe different armor skin or just different color I, I i don't know buckley could be really shouldn't be uh unless oh good grief i think i've done a thing actually i think i've done a thing i think i've just like selected a color i don't think i've set it to the defaults i think that's what i should have done to set that as the default color let's let's try that because you can see that it happened there it makes sense what you're saying so if i now go and take this one away all right and just then it should yeah builds back up there and yeah they're actually a different color okay thank you buckley that uh, was actually helpful um and i will probably have to go and repaint that i, I hope that's gonna fix it um uh, energy energy well actually i could get energy is that yeah it does the thing nice Oh, energy is full. Sorry, I had to hydrate there. Um, and then we're going to just do the rest quickly with the survival kit. <clears throat> Let's have a look at our bottles quickly again. Oh, see. So, we'll do this thing. Um, just try it. Bring it in there. Bring it back out. But no. And I, th I feel like we're going to probably need a bit more steel plate than that. Oh, just, I don't know, yeah, just give me, like, a hundred extra. Okay. So I've learned, yeah, I know, Buckley, three-minute delay is absolutely shocking. Um, learned something new right there. Now, I could do the whole thing, what I said, you know, like the, the, the reset of the defaults, but there's another easier way. You can actually just shift P a block, I, th I think. So remember, we need to have something in hand and you can then say, uh, we know these are different. So shift P would actually pick that color. Whereas now we can say shift P here, I think. Yeah, now we can copy it that way. And then I'm about to recolor it. We just middle click and see how it's all and you can literally just run it along and like i'm holding the middle uh, the, the the mouse wheel basically clicked I'm just pointing at the blocks that you know are and i know all of this will be but it saves me having to grind it all down and do all that and you can see the blocks that obviously hadn't been in that color but it's now all coming nicely together oh thank you buckley you've just really saved my bacon there yet again <laughs> you know it, it, it seems to become a habit by the way that these guys just consistently are not so much saving my skin but you know just giving really good advice and you know a little bits of information where you're like, what am I doing wrong? I, I, I don't understand. I'm just gonna drag it along here. Now, and please remember, I am half colorblind, so that's why I don't see things like that sometimes. And you can see exactly what we've done there, so it's... This whole wall has been done like that. This whole block has been down, down like that, so it's a whole. And then now, right here, we should have. I think that was that block. So if I go outside now, this should be better, yes. Just color up this stuff here quickly. Everything I've placed. Some stuff is just we're not going to get to, and I'm not going to go and 
grind anything that I don't have to. And I'll be honest, I am, I am that lazy. Feel like this should be a better connection up there, but that could just be me. Just going to bring this along. I like this already because it's nicely come together and it's actually shown like it's properly welded. I wish they wouldn't do that with colours. Like, I feel like when you have different colours it shouldn't be treated as separate grids. As a, no, well, not separate grids, but you know, visually it looks like it's a different thing. Yeah, I think that's pretty much that. Okay, cool. But that's, that would have bugged my happiness, so I, I do appreciate that. Thank you, Buckley. Um, now let's start. We're going to want a robot design. We're going to do it small grid. Right? Oh, I said we're going to do it small grid. Um, now, remember the long piston is forward, so I'm going to point it in the way. Right? I want this, I want the front facing to me, as it were. Right? Go and build that up. And of course we do. Oh wait a minute! I think it's already happened. No, oh, it's fine. Wait. Are you? <laughs> Dear build and repair, you can you you sometimes really suck the joy out of things. I wasn't done yet. For goodness' sakes. Right. Okay, we're gonna do a different, slightly different thing. I'm gonna say you go away. Right. Not, not, not a big guy. I want a small guy, right? Give me, give me enough for that. Um, control shift middle click. Okay, so the, there's another trick that I've just learned. Sorry, um, I, I will apply it because that way we can actually ensure that the all grids are painted. Um, well, all, you know, everything is sort of painted that we have sort of connected at the moment. And I, I don't mind it. You know, I'd rather be uniform in all the welds look nice so what we do we take the block in our hand and we control shift and middle click and this literally will paint the entire grid that, is, that I'm pointing at and it may not be many visual changes but I am sure that that is exactly what I would have wanted so thank you again that is <laughs> another piece of advice I've just learned um, so, what was I? Yes, ingredients. So, we want a landing gear, we want a couple of batteries, sort of thing. Start with that. Give me, give me a big block, right? Because I know there's like 25 in them. One, two, three, four. That's like 100 blocks that we've got on us. Nice. Now, give me please enough for a small landing gear. Then, please, I would like wheels no not big wheels small wheels um one two three one two three just just rough stuff and then just roughly i mean um battery 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 ba three warfare batteries i like them small grid one two right I, i'm just hoping it's withdrawn something from here just gonna see what happens we, we should at least have enough to put enough down here small grid no small grid um, just to make sure yes facing this away oh. I am not losing my shit this is fine and I'm not going to tell build and repair to just fuck off is exactly what I've just done. Excuse me. Hit. Seriously, I'm, I'm trying to build something. It's just grind, grind, grind. Give me a second to build the thing and give give it power, and then you see there's more to it than you see. Six. So, um, and so the way we want to start with this rover, and I'm gonna put this up just. It makes me feel better. Okay. 
the way we really want to start with these rovers is we want to have a sort of spine what right so we're going to start there and let's come up a bit because i want a bit of um what do you call it ground clearance say like so right um and so instead of like what i did build a whole sort of structure out all we really need to build is literally a yeah i call it a spine right? it doesn't matter the length you know according to what we're doing here it really doesn't because all we're doing is just laying out a a framework i will say or you know like the initial bones whatever um what do i feel with that like i feel i want a bit more don't know if I'm going to be able to recreate it nicely looking like what Buckley had and you know go and check out our discord it's all there oh is it neutral blocks that is interfering there because I would have thought anything I build is immediately like I'm the owner uh, it's turned off now anyways so um, anyways back to the rover um, so as I say I'm not sure if I'm going to get it as pretty as what I've seen there but we can do something maybe um that's actually the wrong block I think I'm really block a bad at this so please forgive me um I don't know if I can yeah like so 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 like let's say right and what we're wanting to do is basically build our base to the bottom or our wheelbase we want that fairly low um i feel i want to maybe do a bit more of that right no no not like this right, not like this no like so so I feel like that is a good clearance level, right? Um, just bring it up. Oh, I'll bring it down. I mean, you know, is that done right? I think I've done that right. We already want too many. Take that off, right? That basically would literally be our first wheel attachment point, if I'm not mistaken. This should absolutely work. If I go on to uh, so this is the front, so I want one of those wheels, please, attached right there. Now remember this is fairly important that I get this correct. Um maybe if we go and look at it you want that yellow bit at the top. That that's what I've learned basically. You want that sort of running as a curve at the top. And so we can do the same here. We can see that sort of um oh, if we turned it around, you know, there's no cable running there. It's sort of like a cable that's yeah. That's the way that it gets attached, and I'm fairly certain that is the correct way. Looked at a few tutorials just to make myself certain that I'm, I've got that right. Oh. And then, yeah, like so, there's that cable I can see, and but right, and that's basically the start of that part. I'm gonna do the same at the back, and I think I'm gonna have probably more than six. I feel. Right. I feel we're gonna have more than six wheels, maybe eight wheels, or I've, I've made it. I, I, I. Let me try and build something from here. That that seems like a next reasonable choice. Um, I don't know if I can do, it, but we'll see. So. Um, is that it already? It doesn't. 
Yeah, I think it's actually the, that's the right level. Right. We'll see it when we attach the wheel. Uh, it's this side actually. There's a cable that I can see, so yeah, and yeah, this this looks level to me. And I think, yeah, and then I'm gonna have one more here, right? One of those constructions, uh, like right there. Um, um I'm, I'm looking at this wrong way, aren't I? Is that why it's? Yeah, that was why it's, uh, it was weirdly rotating. Down. No. Let's do it again. No. Down and... Oh. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks correct. And then really just one right there. Same thing. Uh -huh. And all, I'm, all the rotations should only be on end, realistically, if you do it, if you point correctly. So you're, you're doing literally just the rotation around one axis. Uh, or axis. Uh, yeah, axis. Um, and then just the same here. Boom, come down. Point at it from the bottom. And there's your end rotation again. I think that is that part. Yeah, looks about right, and then just just keep repeating the same thing, basically. Down, along, down, along. Oh, yeah. Like so, come down and oh. That was a weird rotation there, but that looks a bit short. I don't know. middle and come up but it seems to be symmetric like it, it looks okay to me okay. nice then wheels more wheels you can always do a bit more wheels on this construct and I think that's just sort of staying exactly like it should do oh, place an empty one there uh, and then just obviously the other sided wheel on this side All right um, and I feel this is a nicely, fairly big size button, fairly nice size rover. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so now we actually have a lot more ground clearance than what we had before. Hey Alex, nice to see you here. Um, cool. So I, I like this already a lot more. Um, I think what I'm going to do try and find the right blocks. Now remember, I am a noob in all of this. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I can do a thing there. No. Uh, it would have surprised me if I could. So, I think what we're going to do is just extend the spine out, like make it a bit more... Yep, yeah, like so, and just bring it along. And then that gives me a sort of base to sort of extend from sideways without interfering with the actual wheel construction as it were. Although wait, um I remember Buckley don't don't leave me to it. I may have actually figured it out. I think there's a thing we can do this. Right. So we're doing the opposite there. We're we now build the base not as a not like so we're do build it on the same level. It's hoping that I'm not grinding the actual Spine. Eek. Like this. Like this one bit. No, no. Don't fall apart. Right? Yes, okay, go. Cool. Nice. Um, but yeah, superb. And then all we need to do is so we have that base there. And I can do the same here. Uh, oop. Fat guy. Um, nope. Yeah, just like so. And then that way we've already got a three wide base on that same level. Um, 
well yeah so i'm i'm fine thanks for asking hope you're doing well yourself um working rover yeah we we, we have one um, if you look in the corner the, the rover has took a, a few tumbles um and so yeah discord uh, folk have helped me out tr sort of try and design something a bit more able to see a uh, climb somewhere and also you know a bit more sensible because well i, I can show you the abomination and it is hideous uh, i am proud of it it is mine i built it myself with my own two hands and welders <laughs> um, but it is this it is a, a huge rectangular base that yeah it's 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 got wheels um it's even got hey let me i'll show off <laughs> so i've done a thing with sensors you can see and so let's let's go and show off the old rover and this used to actually be driven with drive assist system which is why it's not working so great at the moment um, so okay First things first, let's let's go and actually fix that right now. So one of the tips Buckley's mentioned is uh, wearing back no. So build vision, let's go and get that out. Where is my steering angle? Going to set it to nada. Just do not. Right, and then we're gonna do the same over here. We we're just gonna say go and give me a build vision, please. There's a there's a suspension here otherwise I'll never get this thing moved. It's gonna end up in a scrap uh, a scrap heap. <laughs> oh thanks Buckley. Um, but you know a lot of the inspiration I got is because of you taking that time. I'll show how to maybe build a bit better. I don't know why my build vision is not showing up here. Like, yeah, thank you. Where is it? Uh, steering angle. No. And confirm. Come out of that. Um, then the other thing I would like to do on all of those wheels. Oh yeah, I have a group for that. Is strength like five percent? Right. Uh, speed limit. Set it to fifty. Say. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. But so this, this is the rover I built first, and I had sort of made provisions for having, um, you know, maintenance lift in place. I've ripped it off a few times, um, you know, that there was landing gears attached and all that. But you know, it was honestly not. I missed a wheel. Oh, of course I did. That's probably exactly what I did, didn't I? Yeah, it's not even in that group, so that that would, of course, make that difference. Thank you, Tarsus. Um, power five. Power was fine. Uh, it's the speed limit that needs. What was I saying? Fifty. Um, but so it's it's time to go and get this guy replaced here. Um, I'm gonna just drive him out here if I can. Um, just bringing him along here. But so yeah, I have I have a place for him. He he is going to <laughs> the pit of doom. That's where he's going to end up, right? This is where all our sacrifices to clan go. So yeah, that that rover will be very out, obsolete. Just to be had another clone counter there. <laughs> um, but so this is what I would like to really get started on this platform a bit more. Because I feel like that rover has given me nothing but jib. Well, not so much that. It, it served actually well. Um, but I've learned a lot since then. And so I would like to implement that knowledge. Let's try and do that. That one goes there. And then we're just going to go and place a nice block in there. So that is nice and closed off. And then... Oh, just uh, fix this. No. Uh, no. Yes just go and give us that platform that I was needing um, oh 
oh you're most welcome like listen i'm i'm basically doing a stream because i am still an absolute noob in this game but i felt i've learned already so much in the first hundred hours that if i wasn't going to stream it right away i was going to lose a lot of sort of knowledge that i've maybe gained and you know even the experience that i have with the discord guys and so yeah that's why the stream exists but thanks for the compliment it's very much appreciated um so base need a heavy heavy base and so my, my thought there is if i can find the right block you know because i am blind that way yeah there we go uh, just one there and sort of well no maybe a bit back because copy so maybe you say actually i um, need to think about that need a bit of space for uh, let's see here so that's the industrial cockpit that we could use and I, I do like it let me go and fall down here let me, let me see how that looks if i just oh yeah i like that oh yeah i like that a lot oh, my God. yes 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 um just no one out just like so right but there's our heavy base in the front you know, and I'm, I'm trying to sort of put anything that's really weighted sort of at the lower end or sort of to give it a low center of gravity as it were you know so we're not rolling easily and things like that there'll be another another couple of things we'll do for that to help us out but you know it's a it's a beginning so that's that then we want to have yeah we, we want storage on this guy and that's that's sort of a given um no, not junctions, uh, mediums. Or am I gonna say pocket and we're gonna go big? Like, I, I. That's a conveyor junction, that's not helping either. Is that a small cargo container and it's the big guys? So, how, how do we look when we. So what was what's wrong here? Why can I not place it? What is what's what's your malfunction here? Oh, interior plate is malfunction. malfunction. Uh, that's that's my usual. Uh, so let's quickly have a look. Um, just give me, please. I think we've we've drawn pretty much everything for that. Sebastian is an idiot. Don't, don't mind me, I'm just going to have to no. The industrial... Well, the industrial doesn't have ports at the bottom and top. But... And by the way, that's the wrong grid size. That's why... <clears throat> so, like, so... Do we have that as... Alright, okay, there's no warfare for a small grid for that. That's fine. Right, um, go and just make those things, please. Uh, so, let's see. Um, so I think I would like quite hello, it's a small grid. Would you please show me the like, seriously? What, what's going on here? Yeah, that, that, thank you. Give me that. Why not? Ah, okay, okay, okay. That, that was me thing. So, like so. And then just another one. So, I don't feel that's connected correctly. Let's see. Oh, for goodness sakes. Let's just go and try and kill myself in the process here. Let's. Uh, Oh, did I place this wrong? I think I did, by the way. So I'm just going to have to fix that quickly because I can't live with that. No, it was correct. So there's the first one. And just, just plunk the other one right there. Right. I mean, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, so that's two largest. I could probably get away with a third one. Sure, I could. 
Come on. Why you no... Why you no work for me? There, thank you. Just, is that correctly attached? It should be. So, okay. Um, and we're really, the, the one important thing we need to put together is one of these. So, what's built? Uh, plan I say, don't care about building. Give me the components for this, please. Right, so, let's see. Oh, guys on Discord, can you please remind me later on to update the mod list or the script list to include this guy, the, the, the door script. Oh, it's easy, simple doors. Just because knowing me, I will forget in the next two hours. <laughs> so, power, some power components. So, we, we have everything for that. That's nice. Should be able to just put this whole battery together. increase it this time. We will not. There we go. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Get our health up quickly. There we go. That should be it. And now back to build and repair. Now. There it is. Sit down please. And then give me the control. We have our in our group. Right? I think I will do two things here. So one is that I think it was Buckley. Uh, well, Alex, I'm actually considering um, opening this game up to multiplayer in the future, um, as well as yeah, hosting a server f on like for for my Discord group, if that makes sense. Um, I am not so much inclined to just jump onto other people's servers or, you know, public servers. Because, um, like, I don't know how to say it's politically correct or very nicely, but um, there's a lot of craft to sort through when you play on public servers, and I feel like I don't want to deal with that anymore. Like, I've done it in, when I was playing Dark Age of Camelot, I was doing it when I was playing EverQuest, and I, I just feel like, no. Nah, I, I can't be doing with that anymore. So I'd rather have a self-hosted server and I know the people that are on it. Um, so Janitor Grinds and Neutral Blocks is already off by the way, Buckley. Um, just put that out there. So th I was just making sure that we're not basically grinding those, but we should be fine now to hopefully get this build up because it has now power, right? And then our next big thing will be, and oh, that is better, better like so. Um, and build and repair basically will grind anything that isn't powered. Will grind anything that isn't powered. Um, that's why I decided to just switch off there. Um, is that correct now? Yeah, that looks better. And now we just need to wait for that to sort of happen. And I'm hoping I have got enough structure here. Like, I'm not going to fall when I write the landing wheel. The grand, yeah, like, yeah. We'll see. Two seconds, my chat freaked out again. Yeah, Taras is... Oh, it's not on blocks. Right, okay. Uh, I shall check on that. Uh, yeah, I know the lag is absolutely terrible. Um, I've said it earlier on already, I am on a low latency connection, the, the stream is set to low latency and it's not good enough yet. So next time it'll be ultra low latency um, and I'll probably turn on the bit, bit rate a wee bit, like from 8 to maybe 7 megabits, just to give a bit more overhead. Um, and now I forgot what I was going to do. Uh, well, actually not so much, we're just letting that thing build up. Um, and I, I would like to plan for that connector, so I think I may have actually shot myself in the foot with that battery. Let's see. Ok, 
can we can we do a thing can we well first of all just do this right and so what are you doing here what okay you know what you, you you're gonna get a parrot you're getting just put in, in that six give me gyros please there's no steering authority like what's going on it's no sense to me get that off Gonna try something here. I think just maybe it's because that wheel was not properly built. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's check the steering angle. Here we go again. Right at it. Yeah, steering angle. Um, so maybe to twenty. Right, just. Steering angle. Now they were set at different angles, which is slightly weird, but that could have been driver assist doing its thing. And it really doesn't want to turn this. Oh, hardcore. <laughs> Alex, I am about 900 hours away from being able to do hardcore. <laughs> But I have, I have decided to make a sacrifice to Clang, okay? And it's it's gonna happen. And I, I hope that Clang will be gracious enough to 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 sanctify our next build with more usability. <laughs> See, come on, this is ridiculous. This thing just does not want to turn. Come on, forwards. Come on, go. Handbrake. No, not that. Um, I am having fun today. Okay, control panels. Uh, wheels. Did I change that? Did I fix that? Yeah, I did fix that at least. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly if that's maybe a YouTube thing, if Google is doing a thing there. Oh, right, okay. So, um, you should learn something new every day. Um, apparently, what I did wrong there is I've set the steering angle for the back to zero, which actually I shouldn't have done. What I should have just done is say steering off, right? And but probably the same is true for the middle wheels. Let's let's go and check that in a second. Uh, also invert steering. Steering angle invert, invert steering. That was weird. I could not find it on that menu. Um, and I, as I say, I'm sure the same is true for this wheel. Uh, yep. And if that one's already gone, so hopefully I can just get this. Oh yeah, I, f I forgot another thing I was going to do is now. Wields, can we just add a bit more strength? Like that's that's the power supply. Let's let's go and up that a bit. And here is our sacrifice. Glorious. Why are we? Why are we dumping to? Whoa, 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 whoa! Like, whoa! I think we were dumping to that rover there. Um. So.
so but yeah this is already looking good like it, things are coming together and you know we should have a whole bunch of material came back into the base because of our sacrifice there also gonna put them back just now just so we're not holding on to materials that could be used in that build and then i, I don't know if everything has been it looks like pretty much ooh, everything has been oh okay there's 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 a few bits left here Yeah, st stuff happens, you know. But I, I would call uh, and consider that a successful sacrifice to Clang. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Um, that light off. Um, and so we were working on the rover, and now we need we need connector or connectivity, right? And I have a feeling that, like hidewise, I'm gonna be totally off um so what i'm thinking of doing realistically yeah so i'm i'm what i'm going to try and do buckley is have front steering to say 15% um no actually those two no 20% uh, 15% if that makes sense and then those two are just there for more stability right but talking about um now the connectivity I am sort of inclined to change my connector in the base somewhat now we're doing this at the moment and you know it's it's functional but I feel like we maybe want to drop it like and and so my idea would be yeah we're just gonna go and take this connector off just bye bye get that away and just the sorter too and then basically bring tubing up like uh or piping if you will uh, 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 just turn it around like so um Yeah, I like that flanged one there. Bring it back to the curve. Bring it along. Bring it up. And, oh, like so. And then think maybe one out. Um, I need to think about space here. Um, I don't know if maybe just maybe now, I, I know this is our double of walling but i sort of need the space um and what i'm going to do instead is we're going to take this layer i'm just going to chop it up just now and just make it a little trench here that's going to get replaced so instead of having double walling there i'm going to put heavy armor plate in this trench as it were like oh okay that was maybe not the intended but it's fine um and so we came out there and hey okay, i really did don't have that much space there but it's it's fine i can work with that um but so the idea is let's come down here um now i need to find out okay it's just the same sort of idea and then just close it up like so. Right, and that's at the moment the only double armor card out. But it'll allow me to just put my piping one higher. That's what I would like to do. Yeah, definitely. Instead. That one away. one um possibly this one but i don't know yet let's see uh 
Yeah, indeed, but if you want, we can do that and then bring me another curved one to bring it along. I think I'm going to put... So, yeah, okay, do a sorter. That's what I'm going to do there. Um, now I need to find out which direction that is. Now they have arrows on them normally that points... Ah, there we go. So we're going in the way. Right. So that's out the way, that's in the way. And I would like to... Yeah, so I can see that change, right? Or not change, but you know, the sort of filtered direction. Yeah, indeed. I completely forgot to say that. Tara says, all hail clang. So, more piping. This is going to be just a curved, I'm hoping. Yeah, like so, and then it's like uh, so. Okay. Um, and then connector. Basically. Like that, that's sort of the length and width of that change. And then, no. No, I would like to, yes, like so. But, I like that. And then I'm just going to have to set up at the appropriate height, and I may actually be too high already, I don't know yet, but we'll see when we bring that new rovine here. And these gates may have to disappear, and we'll just maybe have to change the whole, the whole maintenance hall. Yeah, if that's the case, then I'm, I'm not grudging it. Does this look right? Yeah, it looks right to me. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, the, the next connector would... Ah, oh, shoot. Actually, no, th this is fine, actually. I can work with that. So, my thinking would then be... I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, big, big, they all small ports, but like this is well, okay. So realistically, what's got to be in here? Resources, right? We're not. This is not going to be something that carries components around as such. Um, What do you mean you don't have the components? You have literally just ground up a whole robot. You should literally have everything you need. Um, but okay, I, I sort of can't do what I'm doing there, but I feel like I can I can cheese something here. We can well not cheese it, but what we we'll do is take that away. Um and then just put a yeah, one of these guys. And just just a junction. Just like so. Uh, it, it feels like a waste of space, but I feel like that's what I'm going to have to do, unless... Ooh. Ooh. Uh, another thought. Let me... What if, from the top, I'm coming in from the side? That could be a thing just come in from, uh, no, because then I have a connector sticking out of sight and that's going to look ugly too, so no, uh, okay, we are building this up, and I'm just going to attach a big container to it, like, sort it, uh, that's on this hot bar, nope, all there, and then like so I suppose, right, Got plenty of space to work with in the back here still for additional stuff if I wanted to, but uh, see if those batteries weren't double height. <laughs> uh, but so one of the first things we're gonna need, we're gonna need quite a few of. Uh, so let's see. Uh, these guys, right? Gyros. We want some authority in terms of being able to land on the floor. Uh, stay aligned, not land on the floor. 
this to be aligned um, if we ever take, do a takeoff, right? So I'll just add some of these and then I may do a thing where I want a large grid or no, 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 no large grid, but keep, keep this small grid. So the next step is if I can find them. Uh, I don't think I have them on my Mac, actually. I don't see it. Uh, oh, okay. I need an antenna. Okay, so yeah, just an antenna and a war detector. Now, I'm still not sure about this whole beacon thing. Is it needed? Is it not? I... Like, it doesn't... A beacon is used to broadcast its position. I do that with GPS, I... Or is this what the antenna uses to identify the rover? You know what? We're gonna get one. Just because. Um, so, start antenna. Oh, I forget they are quite... Okay, no, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll place them here. Um, battery first, maybe? Just so I can sort of visualize it better. Uh, uh, thank you, Tarsus. So yeah, yeah, I assume you guys in the comment uh, in the stream will have seen that comment. Um, I, I have aligned that connector, or well, you know that bare junction. Um, we'll get fixed in a second. Let me just go and put these down. So that's our antenna. Um, this is our ore detector. I'm just going to place it right next to there on an our beacon. Right. That seems fine. Um, right now. Oh, please. Quick bar. That helps if you do that correctly. And then just again, uh, put that there, but I need to rotate it. I need the, yeah, large port upwards. But I like that. Okay. And then we can just put that in ourselves because we actually have the. We have the technology. Just start putting things together as much as I can from here. Come on. That's cool. And then see what we can do here. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. So now we have sort of all the basic requirements, I feel. Okay, um, do we have anything in the build plan? No, we do not. You're saying metal grids. So let's go and address metal grids. I don't quite understand what is going on there. If, you, if, if you're lying to me, oh, you're not even lying to me. Why do I not have metal grids? So let's look at that inventory. Uh, yeah, we've run all of uh, Let me guess. Yeah, of course. Hey, Tarsus, go and call it. <laughs> We're going to have to do a mine iron run. Um, yes, yes. Uh, I want a bit of ground clearance. I just don't want to burn anything. Just, I, I, I don't feel all that lucky today. <laughs> uh, take them off charge. Right. Um, thrust us all on, turn the gyros on, and lock, we should be, right, I'm just trying to see if I've got everything, so if I'm needing, I've got the added thrust, ah, that guy's still offset, oh yeah, of course, of course I did, Uh, 
Miner. Realistically, no. So we're gonna just have to go for Brokey and hope that I've got enough thrust to bring me back him. Uh, how many do I take out? Is it just a big one? I think it's just a big one. Oh, that's fine. That's the one that wasn't aligned, anyways. <laughs> and good grief! Even at the front isn't it aligned properly. It's looking horrendous. What the? F Who built this thing? I know it was me, but. I promise the next couple of ships will be better. Just this is <laughs> atrocious. So we've got plenty of stop thrust, so I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna There's a big hole there. Just gently, I'm just gonna try and take this way slowly here. And of course I didn't bring any war detectors. First, just to get rid of all this extra stuff. Oh god, I don't like this by the way. Uh, I just don't feel all that lucky. Um. Just gonna hope for the best here and oh let me guess I didn't put any lights on this I, I have a feeling I didn't um... no I didn't of course not why why would I need such a thing who needs light It's one of those days, but it'll be fine. Just go and... Just see how much we can get. And then we should get rid of stone automatically, I hope. Yes, that's, that's happening, so that's fine. Goodness, this thing is not one to lift now. Ah, yes! It's... I'm not... I'm not getting up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Go on. Go on, wreck it a bit more, Sebastian. I, I have a bad feeling here, by the way. Like, a really bad feeling. I was hoping to, to back out of... Here. Use the this thrust. I mean, it's not good. Um, the walkway. Oh my goodness. Uh, where's base? Um, come on. And that forwards thrust off. No, of course you're not, Buckley. Of course you're not. <laughs> uh, but. Those people that know my streams know this is sort of, yeah, this is standard. Should have seen, was it episode 14, I think? Yeah, I'm just gonna look at Buckley and say, Rover in the dark. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I do reckless things because, well, it, it happens. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, I, I have no idea how I'm gonna land this thing safely, by the way. That's, that's got to be another interesting experience. And 
No, I'm not. I'm not flying it on its head, by the way. No, no. Where's Where's my connector? It's over there. This, this is yeah. I don't want to do this. I I, re I really don't want to do this. <laughs> but it, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure I can land this somehow. Oh God, grief! No, 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 no. Oh yes, this this is going really well. <laughs> She's just yeah. <gasps> oh, you guys must be having an absolute blaster, by the way. Forwards a bit. We're actually not too bad off now because I should be able to hopefully align. Just, just carefully, carefully, bit forwards. Hopefully, I'll take it. Ooh, okay. That that was. I don't want to say interesting because it wasn't. It was terrifying. It was. Oh my goodness. I I I don't even know how I managed to land this thing here. I. I there was no skill, I, I swear. It, 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 nothing, none of this was skill. These things are really ripped. Okay, so that'll get fixed-ish. <laughs> Look at the state of this. <laughs> uh, I, I shall go and, you know, just because I am that nice guy, I, I'm gonna place a block there. And you want a block there too? Oh my goodness. Another one somewhere? Not there. No. That is a big no. Same there. That should all stay free. But okay. Yeah, this this is okay. I think. Uh, where's I had the bar somewhere. Yes. Go and go and give me one of those guys again. And uh, no. oh, oh, that, that way. No, I need to make sure. My fingers are not listening to me. My that's that's, that's it. It's quite working out the right way today. But it's fine. This is fine. Big thruster. Um, it looks fine from here. Um, except for what on earth did I do there? Ah, right. Okay. Do I care to change it? No. I I yeah. I know it looks hard, absolutely ugly, but I I. I This is fine, this is, yes. But okay. I, I imagine this is all empty by the way, like not quite. What what do you uh current ship? You you have a lot of steel why do you have steel in your inventory? Uh oh yeah, I've I've updated the, the rover the minor counter. Um, I'm, at least I'm on top of that Tarsus, don't worry. <laughs> um, what next? Yeah, so you're telling me you have stupid in there. Explain, please. If, if yeah, it was there, why did I move? There, I, I seen it. There. Yeah, you have still played in here. Okay. No, not anymore. Probably from this. I don't even know. Um, put all that back, and I imagine. Uh, yeah, we're starting to make things again. We have more iron. You can see the iron ores going through there. So yeah, but we, we have this guy not, not ready to go yet. Uh, because metal grids. And because I've just told to make thrusters, it's obviously going to go 
bit more at once. Uh, build planner, however, should still have that. Let me see. Can I? No, oh, you're building all that now. Okay, that's fine. I think we need more metal grids. Like I feel that is in our immediate future. So we're going to the main assembler, and then because of that mod that I've installed this time, where is it? Um, Have I not? But no, no, there's okay. It, it, it just doesn't seem to be enough. Like not when we're doing builds, and I think I'm going to do the same with interior. Just up, double that up to a hundred. Does that sound reasonable? I think that should be fine. Cool. So now we know that should be you know be getting put into production as well, and out of which just okay. Uh, yeah, you, you you're doing the thing. Sure, I should expect this to. Yeah, no, it's just doing that. So that's all fine. And there we go. Fine. Nice. Now I can finish off this cockpit finally. Uh, of course I can't. Even though you tell me I have su successfully withdrawn everything. Give me whatever I'm missing, please. Yes, nice. Like, I, I would like to sort of set it up and take it for a little test run. But I think more battery is definitely in our future right here. So I just need to... yeah. Oh, of course not, because, well, probably components like but just lacking stuff. So I'm gonna go in... no, not, not the big guy, just the small guy, please. Right, okay, two construction components. I'm sure they're gonna be made by the time we put this down. Build repair is just gonna finish that off for us. So nice, nice. Um that's where our connector is gonna go. We may as well just do that right now, if I can. There it is, right? Um I think I like the idea of having those small ports. Well okay, it doesn't matter in this case. Nice. Yeah, just plunk that down. I think that is really pretty much it. Right, um... Now the question really is... Okay, so, doing two things here. I'm gonna ramp this up. So, say ramp up, what I mean is, um... Basically just... Do this. Oh, is there not slopes for this? Like, I feel they have different uh, armor blocks, I think. And, and this is where I'm just getting confused. Uh, I'm just looking at all this, like, what? I want something that's not quite 45. Is it? I think this is what I'm looking for, actually. I think that contains all those. So I'm going to add it there and just go and not that one. Yeah, try maybe. Now I need to just find out, obviously, that. That's apparently not a thing. That's not not what I was wanting to do at all. I wanted it attached at the top, if that makes sense. Um, no. 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 Uh, maybe. No. Because it's gonna just do that again. Okay, so apparently there's not a block that I'm looking for. Right. Well, let's see how the wheel bases are going. Let's just start with that. Um, I mean, now crash this or not? I don't know yet. Yep, 
Let's take all this off. Right, okay. So, we can already see we've got a good clearance there. Because we're clipping right into the armor box. Actually, do another thing. If we remember, we can do the whole thing where we can say, hey, we're going to mark a whole bunch of blocks, right? Just may as well. Just mark them. Bam, bam, bam. And if I've done this right now, I'm sure I have. But uh, our grind and repair is uh, built and repair is now going to grind those away because we've made that our grind color. Make me a liar now, thank you. Um, but okay, so our rover is started. Um, okay, and I would like to do one thing before we get into the thing. So let's 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 build vision, please. Name. Right. Uh, front one, or the F one, we'll call it, and then F two, F three, F four. I think that's what no. Not F1, F2 and... Yeah, see, I, I, I was debating with myself there, Tarsus, about resetting the rover um, reset. Um, and, like, I'm, I'm quite happy to actually leave that up to my viewership. Um, just to, yeah, see what you guys think about it. But I feel like because it's a new rover and it's a new design, uh, yeah, we should be able to reset it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. But I'm, I'm absolutely tarsus on that one. I feel like yeah, that, that should really be a thing. So that's gonna be F2, right? Um, and I'm pushing the wrong buttons again, and I'm sure I've lost that naming now. Let's confirm. Uh, no, no, it's F2. That's, that's fine. Okay. Cancel, cancel, cancel. And a screenshot, of course, because I'm just button mashing now. <laughs> and then this will be rear two, or yeah, I really didn't think the naming through, but that's just what I'm going to do now, right? And this is rear one. That's F2 pressed. <laughs> Six of us, but a fingers much, um, and then again, you know, we're just repeating this on the this side. Come on, um, R one, nope. And this is R two, again with the F two. This is the front two. F two. F1. Right? Because now I can do something like so. First, cockpit, uh, handbrake on off, boom, done. Um, then we can go in for a second and I'm going to do a bit of naming here. We'll just call them gyros. No. All of this is special. Yeah, that was a me. That was a typical me. Jumping two steps ahead. Um, and then I was going to name all these like thusly. Okay. And realistically, we could probably. Uh, show blocker terminal, I think, is the thing here. Where, yeah, you can just all make them disappear. And then we just have that group that we can deal with. Um. Antenna, yeah, no way am I gonna 1k. We're really not trying to be all too noisy here. Broadcast radios, see 5k. I don't know what how that exactly works because, like, the antenna is only set to 1k. I, 
leave it there. I mm. uh, large cargo containers. Yeah, just no, just don't do that. Okay. Then please show me all F1 whales. Um, of course I didn't name this right. <laughs> Why would I? Uh, F1. That's F2. This is R1. This is nothing. So this will be uh, F1, I'm assuming. Because this one is going to be named F2. This is an R2. This is an R2. And this will be F1. Right, which one is this then? No. Oh, okay. Mucked up. Mucked up. Of course I did. Just give me that, please. Uh, and I don't see the name there, do I? Uh, not fully. Uh, this is, yeah, this, this is typical me. Uh, F1, correct. It's also an F1, so cancel that. This should be F2, yeah. And this should be also F2, yeah. This is R2. Yeah, that's that's correct. No, no, it's not correct. I mean, um, this is an R2. So this is all we've done then. It's just been a slight one thing wasn't named. Now I can take those. Well, no, not groups, but um. Say F1. Why not? It makes no sense. It's in the name. I swear. There's an F1, and I think this guy. Okay. Um, the reason I'm doing this is so I can set the steering angles for those um, F2. And F2. Right. Oh, I think I've done it again. There's R2, R2. Another R2. So, yeah, we've, we've, we've got another one. We've got the naming right. It'll be one of these. Yeah, correct. That's exactly this guy. Uh, R1. This, hopefully, I've done this right now. Yeah, that's also not. Okay. Okay. So, this guy and this guy are the R1 steering group. And that's just the way I want to set up, just so I can find them fairly easy. And then R. Two, please. Isn't it? No, it is R1. Save, and I have got an R2 group here as well. There. There should be only one. Yes, that one. Okay. Save, right. Now I can say front wheel steering. Am I going to say I want you to be 20 degrees? Yes. Front two, we're going to set to say 15 degrees. And then rear one and rear two, then I'm just going to do any steering. Okay, that's the start. Then the F1 group, the very front wheels, I don't want them to break. Well, uh, I don't know. Can we change braking force? So there is a thing, I'm sure. So this is the power that's applied to the propulsion. This is the strength of the suspension. That's the height offset. Friction. Right. Uh, going to change the speed limit massively. Um, that's propulsion over, right? So I think really the way to go with the F1 group is to say, just say, um, to, you know, we're not going to break with you. The only wheels that are going to be break is the last three groups, if that makes sense. Um, then there was a, one last thing. Yes, now we can take all those groups. I'm going to tell them 
maybe 180 is a bit fast. Let's say half of that, okay? 90 kilometers seems fine. And then we want the strength to be fairly low. Um, and so we'll, five, six percent is normally fine, I, I imagine, from what Buckley was saying to me in, uh, on Discord earlier on. Um, not sure if 60% power is enough or too much or, you know, whatever, how that works out. But let's just go and take this for a spin. Um, make sure the gyros are turned on. And then we can say, hey, I would like this connector to please be on switch lock, right? Oh, also, I keep forgetting this. No, it's not them, it's landing here, said with that. But yeah, that, that's actually all that guy needs. Right. Hey, we can... Oh. We can... Actually, quite... Look at this. And if I hit the handbrake, there's no rolling going on. Oh, I like this. And, like, this, this is a very basic design, there's no facilities is just a transporter if you will. I like it, it's working. Uh, two seconds. Um, but this, this is so much better already. Like, it feels better. Okay. And then there's a few things we could do. We, we could add thrust on here and that's probably something I'm gonna try and fit. Um, basically we want some thrusters that are upwards facing meaning their thrust vector actually points downwards right and sorry I, I need to have that quick discussion with Buckley because um, I felt we were talking at cross purposes when we were talking about these uh, thrusts um, and so in my understanding when you talk about the thrust pointing somewhere that's actually the exhaust pointing and the thrust vector is actually what the result is of that thrust going out the exhaust leading meaning uh, we're actually pointing with a thrust vector forwards um, and it's uh, my brain does these really weird sort of things where it takes things too literal um, and so I was just wanting to explain why I thought earlier on that when Buckley meant uh, or when I mean upwards facing thrust I actually mean you know thrust that points down the way but this is cool. Um, just now, the question is, can we get this in here? Right, it's, it's driving in. This is all fine, and I, I may need more steering authority. Realistically, we could probably do with. Okay. Uh, I think I could do with a little bit more ability to steer around the corner here. But uh, again, I've made this thing also very long like, compared to my previous rover. I'd like to see if I can try. And I would just like to get it in here and see if we can do a thing where I can align the connector a bit values there and say okay what's going to be the max for that connector coming down so we're not crushing the rover itself Good grief, this is a long rover but something like so oh, a bit far um, but that looks about right actually I like that okay All we really need to do is, I suppose I could do it with, right, um, oh, well, this is, this is a connector, it's not the connector I need to talk to, it's the piston, right, and we're going to just say maximum distance, very little, and literally just 0.5 meters or so, okay, um, confirm that, and then I'm going to reverse that velocity, just let it come out, I suppose. Um, can we do just reverse? Yeah, there is. Right, nice. And then so we now it's came down now, and then I can do the same thing again. We open the build vision. Um, 
not for the connector for the pistol please right no oh. and then we can just slowly but gently increase our maximum distance here until we feel we have sort of maybe say 1.5 seemed fine okay um, now if I go in reverse it shouldn't be is it attached why should, these are not auto connecting like they, they shouldn't be right so if I go on say reverse yeah yeah yeah, yeah. perfect nice and then we can do a button say uh, yeah, I like the idea of right now. Uh, give me a bottle panel, please. And nope, 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 nope. Nope. Uh, shift P. Yes, Shift P to pick the color that we're actually building that block safe from. Um, I just don't want it red because then <clears throat> build repair is going to take it apart. We don't want that. So, please, why not? Oh, really? Interior plate? I think I like this. Wait, wait, why? Oh, I know why, by the way. I, I think I know why. Um, because I think the wheels are in that space. That's weird. We just picked up components for something entirely different, so that's fine. It's just, again, to me. Could you please turn? No, like so. Yes. I'm still doing it. Ah, it's the wheels are in the way. Okay, fine. I'll take the wheels out the way. Front brake. Yeah. Um. And I can hopefully. No. What are you? What are you doing? Yes, even that will do me. I, I don't actually care what we're building. Just build me a button panel, right? And I'm gonna want a big button. Actually, um, yes, I like this. Uh, also, naming, 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 naming. Always, always. Like, if you have many pistons, then it becomes really a pain to name things properly. And we're gonna call this um, Rover Connection. Oh, yeah. Actually, or lock. I like that. Okay, cool. And then I can actually talk to this group and say, hey, piston. No, it's not a group, but just something. Um, when we push up, I wanted to retract. And when we push the button down, I wanted to extend. Right? That's that part. That's that, and then I didn't name this. Connector. Oh. Connect. Name. Uh, Rover. Right, bum, bum, bum. Skip douche. Now I should be able to set up this button to say. Connect to Rover. Grab that and say switch lock. Right. And then, hopefully, I can I think this is fine. Oh, handbrake always helps. And I imagine that looks about right. Let's just go on. I don't that doesn't look locked in. And again, colorblind, I don't know. No, no, that doesn't look Okay. okay. I don't want to lock it from there. What's the whole point? I think we may want to go actually a little bit. Uh, it feels a bit too stuck in here. Not the connector, the piston. Can we just. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's actually fine. It's not too bad of a gap from it's down here and then we can 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. I explored something. So, explain. Actually, yeah, explain. We have a sensor here, right? Now, this sensor... At a certain extent, and, and I know the extent ends here -ish, right, where the old robots are stopped to be. But yeah, it, 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 it just squished the whole thing, like, what? Makes no sense to me. And of course I destroyed the connector as well. Um, so, yeah, um, here's the thing. Rover counter, reset button. Not completely because we are needing our first rover repair. How's that? Is this fine? No, not in this moment. Just give me one of the guys again. Just plonk it there, please. So I don't have the interior plate you, you, you demand. It's not the right size. is missing to your plate. I'll check the quarters quickly. Uh, I didn't even need to run off for that. Uh, basic assembler. No, no. Basic assembler. They are interior plate. There should be plenty on that. So, dear. Uh, you say you've withdrawn everything. Is that true? Why are you lying to me? Okay, okay, I can hear it. So there's the rest of the interior plate being made. I think this should be it now. Boom. And then for now, I'm going to just turn the sensor off, I think. Um, this is probably going to have to get excavated. And yeah, garage is going to have to get bigger. It's just what it is. Um, uh, so yeah, there's that. Made a new robot and destroyed it. Not, not destroyed it, but made some damage in the first half hour. Oh, that's that sounds about right, and I need to worry about this alignment. I think so. Okay, next. Uh, no, please. Uh, I suppose, yes, there. Right, go build. Now, do you build and repair? You can do the rest, right? Yes, you can. Just help you out with the rest of it. Boom, done. Um, so let's try this again. Off. That, that seems about right. Okay. Uh, and then obviously because this is not a new connector. What about if it... No, it's not going to do that. Okay, we'll delete that and we're just gonna uh, switch lock again. Okay, and now I should be in a position to do this. And we're locked in, right? And then, yeah, we're gonna have to rip the gate out here and just roofing all that stuff. Um, but you know, I'm actually really happy. Like, I may not show it, but yeah, this makes me happy. We'll, we'll, build actually a rover that seems a bit more capable and I think I would like to put that to the test actually. Alright, so we're going to unlock, we're going to go and handbrake off and oh, stop, 
stop. First of all, I would like to go and try R1. I've got a very gentle, a very gentle back steering. Right, that's what I'm going to do. So R1, that's the outmost. I'm going to set them to like, say, degree. R2, I'm going to set them to say, 5 degrees. Right, and F2, what have we set there? 15. And then we'll see how it behaves. Right, we'll take it from there. Uh, it seems a bit better. Yeah, me always pushing the wrong buttons. And I may want to take that pole away or that post. If that makes sense. But yeah, we can now go and take off. And I'm going to try. and see how it behaves. I really would like to sort of try and do a bit of traversal that I was struggling with last time. Because really that's sort of the whole point. Um, and like, I want to try and test it without thrusters just now. I just want to get a feel for it. But you see, here's the thing, right? So when Buckley says to me that I'm ruining my own learning experience, he's absolutely right. He is absolutely right, make no mistake. Um, all these scripts are really helpful and they're really nice to have and, and, you know, take a lot of the work away. But it takes away from the experience of understanding of what actually happens to grids when you drive them, when, when, you, when you do things. So I like this already, it's quite stable. It doesn't want to go and tumble over and when I hit the handbrake. Up there, you know, that's all awesome. That was sort of one of the first struggles I had, and that was with driver assist, you know. That, as I say, with a script in a program block, but it's, again, stand maybe how all these different settings interact with the grid, and assuming the script will do it all for me, it doesn't actually help you, because you're, you're completely lacking that understanding of what actually happens. So, yeah, but you know, I can see the ore detectors doing their thing, that's all nice. The brake is handling quite well, and this is what I wanted. I wanted to try and see how this, if I can navigate a bit more rough terrain. It seems like we've took something off there. I, f I keep forgetting the handbrake doesn't automatically come on. <laughs> I think it feels like we've sort of smashed something here. But it, it's, you know, it's driving. It's, it's traversed that quite well. And, and can I climb it now? That's the question. Because it was sort of this area actually that I had ish, massive issues in with my robot. Okay, I want to see what happened there. What are we? Okay, so this is more of a wheels on maybe gripping enough. Um, so I can I can maybe try and play around with a little bit of friction here. So what I would like to do is I'm gonna make a group just called wheels, right? So I can actually have certain settings that I know I can just change for all of them. And one of them I think was going to be friction. I think I would like to increase the friction slightly. Uh, try maybe sixty percent. Okay, just, th this is the whole point, you, you need to play with these, you need to understand what happens when you change things, you know, what that behaviour then leads to and, and how you can maybe change it, but yeah, look at this, I, I could climb it and I didn't actually get properly stuck, the robot's still in one piece, um, and then because I'm actually really happy with this as a base, as a, well, I'll call it a base blueprint. I'm going to show you guys right now how to make another blueprint. And it's been covered before, but I'm going to do it again. Because there's certain things that it always helps to have maybe a little reminder, you know, because we don't do it often. Like, if, if I'm honest, I've maybe created three, four blueprints all in. And the 
150 plus hours I've played so far. Um, so you know, in, in terms of all the things you do regularly in the game, it's it's not one of those. Yeah, it happens all the time. So you know, I'm gonna help out a bit. So let's see. Um, like for me, yeah, 90 feels really slow. Um, well, Tars, I've set the speed limit to 90 k uh, kph or kilometers per, uh, per hour. I feel that is okay for me. Like, I can still stop on a dime pretty much. I can hit space and it'll just come to a nice good stop at full. What's that, 22 meters per second? It seems fine to me. Um, what I can do, however, and this is actually a good point, Tarsus, uh, since you do, did make it, and this is, I think, what you're getting at, we can play with this, right? And we have a group. Uh, I would like the all wheel groups, right? What we're going to do is, we we'll say, decrease and increase. Alright, okay, so I'm going to go come back to that in a second, Buckley. Uh, so what we can do here is we can change the speed limits. Right? We can say decrease, and I would like it at the back here, and increase that speed limit. Right, so we can actually, if we have a fairly clear area, say I can just go and whack that up a bit and... But you know this this feels fine to me, um, and so Buckley is saying when you know when I have issues what I had just there, you know don't be afraid to obviously whack up the the, the 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 friction and speed limit and power if you get stuck. But you just need to remember obviously to reset them. And so talking about that, um, you can see I've done it with a speed limit there, but you can do the same with any other of the functions. So we could say for example. Well, we know we have changed the friction, right? So we can say in groups, all wheels, just go and f decrease and increase friction, right? The beautiful thing is it tells you on the tool by itself what the friction is set at, and then we can just say, well, you know what? I'm quite happy to just come back to 50% of that. Right? But this already, I, I like this. The only thing we really need to now change, and I may do this sort of in between streams over the weekend, um, is try and build us this uh, garage a bit better so that parking will be easier because at the moment it's a bit of a... I don't want to say pain, but it is a bit of a pain. It's just because of the turning circle that I've got with all these wheels. Probably get away with maybe something like this. Um, just very gently. Uh, it's, it's actually not all too bad, but it could certainly do with a little bit of tweaking, I would say. And then just try and. There we go, and we're locked in. <laughs> nice. And then for now, I'm going to go and close this gate. And then. Yeah, there will be a bit of building needing to be done. I'll take this out a little bit, probably, as I said. Um, and, yeah, I might actually move the gate over. You know, something along those lines. Um, but, yeah, this is pretty much where we're heading towards wrapping up point, guys. It's been nearly three hours now. And it's actually sort of the time I was aiming at. I'm quite happy with this. We've got a bit better control of the base, and this this is sort of really for me a big one. Um, because frankly, Izzy's um, inventory management has sort of set me back quite a few times because of the amounts I had set and, and sort of the things it does in the background. Um, and then leaving build and repair running. But you know, I feel we're in a fairly good position here. I could probably do with a bit more mining for, well, will say nickel. Um, and I really, really, really want to find silver. Right, that's sort of my next big quest, if you will. And I will probably just, I don't know, take this guy out or something that can fly. I, I don't know yet. Um, I mean, he's he's back up and running again. It's just, yeah, and 
there, there's now a whole host of settings I have to go through on my. Well, not a host. I think it's not actually that bad. Set all thrusters. Right, I know there's got to be a missing one somewhere in this crib. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we're going to add that to that crib. Fair enough. I may actually just have been enough already for that. So I don't think I've. Only other thing we've damaged was. Was it back here? Yeah, there's this one or the smaller light side base thrusters. Um, so it might as well. Is it? Three, no, not the big one, the big small guy. And then just turn that way. Oh, that away. Um, and I th think. I feel like up thrust hasn't really been enough yet, so I'm gonna try and see if I can. Just, I'm just looking at the moment. Got those guys. I mean, I suppose I could just add. Like more, like so. Possibly none. Uh, maybe back, back that thruster, so maybe not. Oh, it doesn't seem to be a problem there. Ah, for goodness sakes, of course, fuel is low. And it's fine, don't worry about it. We're doing it right now. Go and give me my hydrogen tank and just go and put all those bottles in there, please. Fill the bottle and I'll take it. Thank you. So what I was saying is we have to fix it in there and it seems to have been fine actually on the front thruster. It doesn't seem to have it doesn't seem to burn just the side blocks if you will. Okay. Cool, um then maybe just bring up more of those, right? Just Yeah, upwards face I mean downwards facing but upwards vector. <laughs> Um, yeah, left, more left, I was more left, um, almost tempted to just plunk one there as well. Okay, they are slightly offset, that's why I had that extra space, so cool. You're coming off? No. Oh, not that way, but that. Yeah, I know, Tarsus, there's a few things that Rover is going to need as well. <laughs> Many more lights, and I'm going to need more lights around the base as well. Um, so, yeah, I understand. There's many, many, many jobs to do still. Big one, please. And I think, yeah, I think I want it there. I mean, unable to place. There. Right. And that uh, leaves that one free, and I can take yeah. So okay. Um, but yeah, I feel this may actually be all right. Like this, hopefully, is enough thrust. So let's try out. I've got a bit of time still. Let's go and give it a shot. Um, and I should have really, really recharged those batteries. Because we used a lot of power on that. Holy moly. Like, they were foo. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Guess what? I've destroyed another thing. Tell is the problem now. Yeah, of course I did. I mean, why wouldn't I? Oh, yeah, I need to minor. I'll be number five. Okay. Uh, need a new connector. Uh, there. 
six and I think I can just plonk it in there and just turn it obviously uh, So, I would like to understand. Um, to, no, uh, this is just connector, please. Um, this name, that's all fine. So there's a connector. Now I need to go and empty this and grab that connector and say switch lock. We are empty, right? And I should be able to gently come down, lock in. Turn those thrusters off, and there's nothing that should happen. Like, I don't. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, again, Sebastian is an idiot. All on. All thrusters, because. Well, guess what? We've added a whole bunch more and we haven't told the groups about this. So when we switch the group, only some of them will actually get changed and stay. And that obviously won't help us. And that seems fine. Save. <coughs> uh, so, turn all those... All off, turn those off, and we're charging up, which is fine. And oh, yeah, thank you, Tarsus, also before we take it anywhere. I did mention this in my last mining run because I'd forgot about it. So, bam, bam. All right, okay, that is, that is a stupid place to put it because I don't have a uh, problem on the other side. Trying to think where else I could maybe put it that. Uh, yeah, sort of one from there. Let's see there. Yeah, that seems fine. Then we can go enter this. Um, I think we're gonna just go and say, yeah, we'll have charge in us. Uh, turn the thrusters on, turn the gyros on, lock us away, and then I would like all lights, all the spotlights, okay. All those new naming, uh, control V, no. I thought I'd copied that, apparently. Paste that name, then we want the radius to be up, we want the intensity to be up. Offset is fine. Not the light of me, I think it was about 190, I think. I so I'm just to soften that a little bit. And then we can stick that in a group. Oh, I did not group those. Yeah, that, that would have helped. You know. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Okay. Light. Spotlights. I'm just going to call them exactly that. Spotlights. Oh. Oh, for goodness sakes. Light much. Spotlights. Save. Now, G groups. Uh, Spotlights, toggle block on off, I think is all I need there. Boom. Uh, right up. Why not? Pointing, yeah. That way. And then we're going to turn the th stop thrusters off. <clears throat> so. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. Um, can't even, even deny it. So, my, my, my point is that <clears throat> I've got these big spotlights now. And I'm hoping that there's plenty of down thrust, and yeah, it, it, the rests off all fairly quickly. So, that's hopefully plenty of. 
I would like to go on. Right, this seems fine, and then I, I should be able to. Oh, a bit. Uh, so it's literally right under us. Under us so. Just take all this away. Sort of an injector. But you know, this is already looking quite cool. And I can just sort of come back a bit, maybe. Oh. isn't it? It is sometimes really difficult to sort of stay in a good way. Um, uh, it's letting me lift. That's already good. Why do I... Okay, no, let's do anything. Uh, it, it feels already a little bit more responsive and well behaved. And I just have to fix those sideway thrust things. So it's basically trying to fall the minute I lost any way to the left or right. But this is fine. Like I'm just trying to see now can we reverse out of here. I would like to see if come on. Just let me out here. I mean, we're not full, but it's definitely maneuvering, it's, it's lifting, you know, it's it's doing the things a lot better than it used to. And I can just go towards base and let the stone get ejected, all that good stuff. But this, I'm, I'm so much more happy with this, to be honest. Um, because it's actually working nicely. So, of course my chat window is again doing the thing. I know, I know, the, the, the front I've, I've mentioned this earlier on looks absolutely hideous. Uh, again, this is not going to be our final minor. And approach a little bit nicely and see what we can do here. Just straighten this ship out a bit and just come down a bit uh, back. Make sure I've got enough. Yeah, yeah, and this is fine. Yeah, I like this a lot more. I've not immediately crashed it. <laughs> that helps probably too. Oh, right now I need to completely off centre here. Just come down. Yeah, very closely. Oh, for goodness sakes, are you kidding me? What for? I, I, I can tell you what that was. And we're, we're going to come back to that in the next lesson. <laughs> I, I, actually, because we've lost the, container, the connector there, I'm going to show you on this connector. There's a setting. And it's this strength here. Right? 
this. You, you want ideally this to be disabled for situations just like so. <sighs> because I want to really, really, really land this thing now, please. I will put the connector back in there and just weld it up, please. Oh, I, I noticed the many, many mistakes this miner has. Like, it, the, the, the whole front is, I don't know what I've done there. Maybe something for over the weekend. I don't know yet. We'll see. I would like to just get this bastard thing landed. This is fine. And then we need to do the same thing here where we now need to change that strength. Because that, uh, that's bugging me when it does that. So I should be able to just sit down. Oh, of course, we're completely off kilter. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you, like, seriously? I, I need to increase by two now? Is that a thing? So I'll be seven. Okay. This is actually not even funny anymore, by the way. Strength, none, set. Strength, disabled, that's exactly what we need. So, what on earth are you doing, you stupid? S sit down. Okay, uh, oh yeah, because again, I've done the thing. Uh, yeah, no, G, remove, connector four now. Uh, switch log. <sighs> Thank goodness that's finally done. That was painful, and I never want to do that again. I will do it many times again, no doubt. Actor, just um, and what we could do is probably do it like so. Then I know where they actually are. And, like this is just. Just be over. So yeah, that's that. And of course, uh, <coughs> my view still messed up. But so okay, we, we've we've managed to land the thing and trash it a few times. Yay! Um, also, since we're locked in now, I can turn those thrust us off, we can charge, we can turn those off, we can turn those gyros off. Boom. Boom. So yeah, that was it for today. It was adventurous at junctions. <laughs> we have made sacrifices, we have built a extension to our garage, our garage and we've built a new rover. You know, at least the start of a new rover. Um, I'm, I'm really, actually, really, really happy with all this. Um, a few things didn't go as planned. Some things confused me, like this guy. Well, that was really confusing. But, you know, all in. It was a really good day. I've really enjoyed myself. I would like to thank everyone for attending, for joining in, and just listening in, you know, for the lurkers out there. It's all good. And hope you've took some lessons for yourself away if not that's also good because that's just like me then <laughs> and yeah other than that i would say
peace out and thanks for watching again and also if you like this content leave a like and a subscribe that really really helps the algorithm decide you know that yeah you like my videos and maybe show you more of them in the future and it also lets me know that I'm, lets me know that i'm doing my job maybe um maybe not well but you know satisfactory that that would be <laughs> nice to know anyways thanks again and yeah peace out